I was born on April 1, 1776, in Rue Saint-Denis, Paris, France. I was the second daughter of the marriage between Marie Magdalene, Grugelin, and Ambrose Francois Germain, a cultivated and liberal bourgeois who actively participated in the French Revolution and was elected deputy of the Tiers Etat in the Constituent Assembly of 1789. I have four siblings, Marie Madeleine Germain, Angelique Ambroise Germain, and Ambroise Francois Germain. I used to read everything that fell into my hands with an ardor that worried my family. I became overcame the obstacles my parents had devised to stop my passion for mathematics. So that I could not study secretly at night, they decided to leave me without light, without heating, and without my clothes. I started studying physics at 13, reading books from my house's library. Then I continued with the thoughts, theatres of chemistry, A.J. Cousins, differential calculus. Later on, I learned Latin by myself with the works of Isaac Newton and Leonard Euler. I acquired my education using the pseudonym Antoine Auguste Leblanc to pass myself off as a man. I never got married, so I am economically dependent on the financial support provided by my family. I can have a mathematical professional career for being a woman, but I still work independently. I was one of the pioneers of the theory of elasticity and made important contributions to number theory, but my most important contribution was the study of what are called germane prime numbers. One of my major contributions to number theory is the mathematical proof of the following proposition. x, y, z are integers, and x5 plus y5 equals z5. Then at least one of them, x, y, or z, is divisible between 5. I tried to prove Fermat's theorem, and although I couldn't do it, I got some results that influenced mathematics. Likewise, one of my best known results is the one known as the Sophie Germain theorem. This theorem deals with the divisibility of the solutions of the equation xp plus yp equals zp of Fermat's last theorem for p odd prime. I never got married and I don't have any kids. Everything I know, I learn it by myself. My certificate doesn't identify me as a professional mathematician, but instead it identifies me as a rentier for being a woman.